Hey, today we're going over something very, very important, and that is stretching. Um, something you're always going to have to use, unless you're just doing like chords. But even then, you'll self stretch, you know. Um, this is an exercise, and it'll act like one. Maybe you'll be able to stretch four frets a day, maybe we'll be able to go seven tomorrow. Um, it's like doing crunches. You can do 21 one day, you can do 28 the next. Anyway, the first thing is something I've gone over in other videos. Um, I'm always going to do it slower because I'm on the acoustic and I can't really get the, uh, the, um, sustain I need. Sorry. Um, we're going from fret 5 to fret 7. <laughs> going five, nine, seven, four, seven, five, two, five, three. All right, and uh, mess around with that. The next one is uh, very movable. So I got the first fret, third fret, five, fifth fret. So you're actually going one, five, three, one, five, three, one, five, one and you know so on. Yeah, mess up a little bit, whatever happens. And you can do that, you know, going from the third to seventh fret, fifth to ninth fret. If you have an electric, you can go up here to the fifteenth and nineteenth fret. Um, it's really overly movable. Uh, the next one I can't really do on an acoustic, but I might as well show you anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed it in that lame attempt for a shred video. Um, anyway, you're going for the 12th fret, to the 19th fret of the E string, and you're staying on that fret, on those two frets, and the same ones on the B string. So 12, 19, 12, 19. Yeah, I can't really do it here, but whatever. Um, the last one is not the last one, the second last one is a chord. Uh, essentially, same as this over here. It's really easy. Um, it's just a power chord. It would be an E power chord. Um, but the way we're going to do it is we're going to be on fret 5, 7, 9, 8, 7, 9, and 4 on the G string. So E5, A7, D9, G4, and then the rest are open. It sounds a lot like the last one, but I think it's got more of like a more of a regal sound to it, you know? Uh, now the last one is uh, it's a Joe Satriani secret, or not secret because he shows it everywhere. Um, I've seen it in a couple magazines, I've seen it on here on YouTube. So in other places, what he does is uh, he takes a C power chord, I mean a C chord, sorry, and then he reverses it. It doesn't sound good, but it doesn't have to, it's just an exercise. Don't do what I did, make sure every sound is resonated, make sure no strings are um, muted. Um, but anyway, you're going... That's the regular C. Then you're going the A string, fret 1, open on the D string, it's 2 on G, and fret 3 on the G string. And then obviously going up fret. So on. I hope that helped. Also, remember the. Um, the um, chromatic exercises, um, as I said before. Disregard the last. Um, but the chromatic exercises before, you could switch those up.
just use those four notes and create a sequence and go up and down the strings. Hope that helped. Keep practicing. See ya.